All right, I'm here with my friend Scott here in Las Vegas, and this is his tiny home behind us, and your company's name is? Artistic Innovations Tiny Homes. Artistic Innovation Tiny Home. I know we don't have a microphone on it. So, um, I got Joseph out here filming it for us, and Scott, I just want to let you know, Scott's been in the construction, how long, Scott? More than that, probably 40 yeah. plus years. Yeah. 40 plus years, he's a professional contractor, and he's gotten into some tiny homes. He's built three or four, I guess, haven't you? Yeah. And um, I've looked around this. This is a really quality home. We did a video on this a couple months ago. And he's just getting his feet wet in this and seeing what he's doing. He didn't really know how to price it or what to do with it. He's had it all over the shows and stuff. And I just wanted to, we got a, we got some really loyal people that follow us. And, and I, I just wanted to, they trust my opinion and I just wanted to show you guys this house. I think it's a beautiful home, and he's wanting 79.5, and I'm gonna give it to him and explain the house and give us a tour. We did it before, but the price has come down. Yep. Last time we did it, 86, I think. 86, yeah. something, almost 10 yep. grand lower. Yep. So if you guys want this house, give us a call at Incredible, well, call you, let's call yep. you, right? Yep. And uh, at eight, what's your email? Email is uh, info at aitinyhomes.com. Info at aitinyhome.com. A and I, I can be reached at 702-540-6214. There you go. That's the phone number, so you can record this back and get his number. And um, we're going to walk through and show it. Everything you see goes with the house. The appliances, everything. Yep. It's 8 by 26. Yep. I like the layout, you guys. So let's do a tour. Right. After you. And we could come out and, uh, you know what, let's, let's just show them the outside. outside. Yeah, let me do a walk, yeah, yeah. let me do a walk around real We'll quick. do a walk around and you can show them, kind of tell them the wood that you've used. Yes. Yeah, so now, the sound on this thing's really bad, so he may have to get closer or whatever, yeah, but all that. I'll step back and look at it. You go ahead and talk so, first. So this is a spruce TNG. Uh, this is actually uh, called ghost wood. This is a re reclaimed product. Uh, and that's pretty much what we got on the outside all the way around. When you say reclaimed, is it, it looks like it come from a sawmill. Yeah, so what they've done, they've taken older materials or, or something and they've remilled it and you can buy it. it, it, it it'll come in a natural color and you, or you can you get it uh, like a dark brown or a natural color, but right. we, paint, we painted this. Right. So now how, how old is the house? How long has it been built? A uh, house has been built for about eight or nine months. Okay. Yeah. So and, been, and we've talked about moisture content tent of, of wood. It's been here eight or nine months, and we're in Nevada. Which yeah. Is super so dry, and it looks great. I mean, yeah. everything's still tight. So there, there, oh. there, there is n probably zero moisture content in here. I mean, if if there is, it's not going to be any more than the, the, the atmospheric. I think about the highest we get in moisture content here is about twelve percent. So. Man. It's done all it's gonna move. It, yes, it, and this sat for a while before we put it on. So yep. it was plenty dry enough, so you're not gonna have a bunch of shrinkage and, and white lines here. You right. know, what, what, right. it, what can happen with TNG sometimes. Uh, it's, you know, it's rugged. It's not, it's, it's stained, but it's not polyurethane. So, you know, three or four years down the road, restain it again, don't polyurethane it, right. and, and it'll, it'll just be fine. You know, people do that sometimes. They think they're doing a good job for that polyurethane. And, and but it, you can't add another coat of stain if you do that. Yeah, you'd right? have to sand it all down. Imagine how much work that is. Exactly. Yep. So, I know it's got, got a metal roof on it. Yep. And you got a shed roof, so yep. it sheds at one side. Yep. yep. And I think it's got a 30 year warranty on it, that roof, maybe more. Nice. Uh, Pioneer, uh, this is what we. We've used these before in the yeah, past. Yeah, these mini yep. uh, Yeah, I really like this. I, I was very impressed. You know, when we were building it, even without insulation in here, I'd come in here in the morning to turn this thing on. It'd be 105, 108 outside in about 30 minutes, down to about 74, 75 degrees. What have you insulated your walls with, your house? Uh, it's fiberglass insulation. So we're, you know, counting the wood, I believe we're like an R19 or R21, something like that. And I think R25 at the, the floor and the ceiling. Okay. With, and it's all fiberglass insulation as well. Got it. So, okay. Um, <laughs> same thing all, all the way around the outside. Tell you what, let me do a quick walk around. Right I'll meet you it. inside. Okay. Yeah. We'll catch you inside. It's a little tight here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Let me try to get some angles here. Yeah.
Good deal, Joseph. Let me get the front here a little bit. That notice is he's got a little bit of an overhanger, a soffit mm -hmm. over there that looks good. It's a nice yep, about two inches. You don't normally see. A couple layers up there. Yeah. Got an outside plug. Yep. Yep. And, and I noticed you got scissor jacks. Yep. GFI. On all four corners. Yep. yep. And it's a drop axle trailer, which is what we use in our custom craftsman style homes, we call them. So you use a drop axle to give you more headroom inside. Yeah. Yeah. It's got, it's got a lot of headroom in here, that's for sure. Right. Now when I come in, I notice. Is this a one by six or less? It's a one by six. Yeah, so it's like 0.41 of a foot. So it's just under six inches. Okay, I yeah. got you. Yeah. Well, I like the busy little the lines instead of the you know sometimes we get wide boards, but this looks good inside here. Um, you whitewashed it? Yep. Yeah, it's all whitewashed. I try to keep it from yellowing too much. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know, wood is if it's nothing done to it. I'll, start to yellow after a while yeah exactly yeah, so it's all whitewash so when you come in i like you got a is this a 4040 it's 5050 5050 yeah. sofa sofa comes with it you yeah the sofa or oh. you get rid of it and get a new one <laughs> so you got a living room here i like your fireplace you got ample plugs so here you got plugs plugs i'm sure the yep. behind here there's two couple. back there there's two one back on here the wall there two here um you got flipper switches yep so he has a three-way switch for the upstairs. Yeah. So this will kind of get the right one. So yeah. that one just turns that part on. And then this oh, yeah. turns this part on. So and it's all fan also, and outside yeah. light. Yep. Perfect. The fan, the fan light. So now, when you come in, I've noticed a, enough living room area in here. So this is about almost eight or nine foot long, and it's an eight foot wide mm -hmm. house. So you got about, what, 92 inches wide, 94? 90, 90, yeah. 92? Okay. Yes, 92 inches wide on yep. the interior. And then your kitchen. We won't go upstairs. I think the I think what's amazing is your kitchen. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. <laughs> he's not as used to being on video as I am, and I just want to describe what he's done. Is you got your gas cooktop, right, with your cabinets. Now he's got ample cabinets. He's added a lot of cabinets and overhead cabinets, and this is a convection oven. Yes, convection microwave, yep. everything. All this comes with everybody, so it's. Your gas, your convection, and we got a full-size refrigerator right here, plus a washer and dryer underneath the staircase. And all this comes with the house. Butcher block countertops. Yep, yep. Polyurethane tops. So yeah. It'll last. We've got a, a, a full-size refrigerator, which you would kind of like, you know, more like an apartment size. It's a little bit on the smaller side, but it's a full-size That's refrigerator. That's awesome. I mean, a full-size fridge. Now, this is just for shipping, keep the fridge from coming out. And of course, the old barn door, like we always put in all our tiny homes. So what I'm saying is, his construction and what he's done, if you've believed in our product over the years and what we've done, he is just right on the way we've done it. The only thing, he hasn't done the spray foam, but he's got a lot of fiberglass in the ceilings and floors to, to try to, you know, overcome that. And we've done fiberglass for years yeah, before I, we had spray I'd foam. Like to go, I'd like to go to the foam eventually. Yeah. Right now, we're just doing... Doing the fiberglass for now. It does great. It does great. Um, of course, let me show the bathroom. I'll switch with you, Joseph. We can show the bathroom. Or you can. Either yeah. way. So, you know, we, we've got indirect lighting. Oh, there's Joe. He's still on the other side of there. So, <laughs> wait for him. Trying to get the whole hey, house. You know what? Man. Before we go in there, I want to point out, he has got these floor joists in here. And they're sanded. They're planed. You've rounded them out the edges. So, a lot of times, what we do is we use a two by six TNG right, on our ceiling, yep. and then what he's done is he's put more girders in, and then used a one by for a ceiling, so it looks just like what we would do. But he puts these in there, and that looks awesome too because it decorates your ceiling, yep. and it continues on into the bathroom. I love your bathroom. That, to me, that's yeah. almost, you know what the ladies fall in love with yeah. this bathroom. Every time we do a little show, man, I mean they're just switching. Yep. In, in fact. The if you look at the the bottom of the shower, it's filthy dirty because people like to go in there with their shoes on. <laughs> but this shower does stuff that we probably can't even talk about. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> not yeah. on video anyway. We got indirect lighting. It's all LED. Uh, it's a labor of love. I had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. So, you know, the shower, it sprays out the front. It's got a separate shower head here. And then it's got, you know, like this rain shower head. So, I mean, it's oh, just... Oh, yeah, there you go. It's just, uh, I mean, a lot of water coming out of that thing. I like the lighting. Like you said, the indirect light yeah. that comes in and out of this. That's beautiful. Yeah. And then you got your wood floor. This is a vinyl floor, right? This is a vinyl uh, waterproof floor. God, it looks good. Yep. Yeah, so I like this I like product. It. Yeah, I like the color. I, I was really impressed with the color in this thing. Elongated toilet. Yep. And the what I always tell everybody when we do we show our homes is you've got a lot of empty space to yeah, add this, what they want. It's storage. Yeah. I mean, I mean, storage is the big key on these things. And it's hard to get enough storage, but there's plenty of room in, the, in this bathroom to put some more storage here. You know, we have yeah. some under the stairs. I mean, that side, this yeah. side, above the toilet. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Even here, there's enough room for a nice cabinet or open shelves, whatever you want to do. Is that better? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a lot better. Good. Well, this is so similar. That's why I wanted to show it, you guys. Is that this is so similar to what we do, what we've done, um, and you've added really a lot of custom features that is different than what we've done too, like your shower, a glass door, a full vanity, and this is a full bath. Oh, I, yeah, I really like the home, and for seventy nine five, it, you know, it's right there with everything else. But I've never promoted another tiny home builder, and because I've gotten to know you and I see what what you do i just wanted to let everybody know that this oh, is available it, right? yeah and then we've got an upstairs and his staircase is nice too it's just like what we do the treads or the risers as you go up are just like a normal home staircase you've got rebar on here which i like so it's uh yeah i thought that'd be a nice rustic, it is. Cool. rustic yep. touch to what we're doing here it's like trying to figure man what am i gonna do for the, the, yeah. stair, the stair railing and so and you guys know that you all can, you know, a lot of people live on the same floor, mm -hmm. and this can be living room, bedroom, if you yep. need to. And of course, then you got a full upstairs, which is a bed. It yep. was enough room for a king size. It'll take a king size bed. All right, sure enough. And Joseph will kind of show you guys that too. He'll go up the steps and and um, what kind of headroom you think you got? What's your your height up? It, I want to say I'm like four foot. Uh, six here, like 54 inches. Okay, yep. And then we're about six inches or eight inches lower on this side. I don't remember exactly. All right. But you can sit up on the on the bed just fine, and you got plenty of headroom. Right. Yeah. And, and you uh, sloped it to the yes. right, which is you got yep. your high side on your steps, which is yep. good. Yeah, that shows everything. Beautiful. And Joseph's about standing up there now. Yeah. And then you just oh, sit down. Yep. yep that, Right that there. way you can put your shoes and socks on. Perfect. Good. Do what you got to do there. And... Well, it's a, it's a classic layout. You know, bathroom, kitchen, living room, bedroom up there. Open yeah. concept. You got one interior wall, which is what we do the same thing. I was just trying to keep it simple. You got keep it. it open. And people, that's the one of the comments I get is, wow, it feels so much bigger yes. than it looks. On the, you know, as it's just because it's open. It's, you got room to navigate it. Yeah. All the windows are sliders. Yep. So it's kind of uniform. Three sliders there. You got a nice little slider here if you ever needed some yep. more air. There's your mini split, a little storage. And you've still got all this volume if anybody mm -hmm. wanted to do anything with this. Right? Oh, they could deco this. I mean, yeah. for that matter, they could put a, you know another set of cabinets right on top of this, up the wall. Sure. There's plenty of room to do there or just shelves. Yeah. You know, you could do some open shelving here on this side of the side of the kitchen. Exactly. You know, there's a lot of things you can still do with this thing. So there you have it. This house has been built almost eight or nine months. I think it's it's if it's going to move, it's moved already with the acclimating of the wood, mm -hmm. the shrinking of it. Um, you know, I always show up. Joseph will show just the craftsmanship. You know, and, and I point out a lot of times. See the reveal, how it's all the same, all around here. This so this is a vinyl window. They put a casing around it, and then we trim it out. And you want this little reveal to be about the same all the way around. You can see his cuts are cut nice. He's filled in the nail holes. He's sanded. It's just he's done a good job. I, I'm, I've been amazed how tight it stayed. 
with all the travel. I mean, I've probably got about you know yeah. 1,500, 2,000 miles on this thing. There's not a crack, wow. not, not anything out of whack. I mean, it's it, you know it's, it's completely co covered in shear panels, so it's like one big you know truss on all four, right. four sides. So yep. it's 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 stout. Good. It's real stout. So he's traveled almost 2,000 miles on this. Side. Yep. Wow. Yep. I got the sore neck to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> and the junk holes. Oh my God. Going from California. here to Fresno. Oh my God. I took a home that way, and you were telling me, Randy, watch out for the rough road. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, yeah, I, I know I, what you mean now. It feels like you're going over the Grand Canyon in some of those holes. Like, am I coming out? Yeah, right? are we going to get a flat or anything? Yeah. Yep. So it's held, up, it's held up great, man. It really you know, made me feel pretty good about it. You know, it's built well. Good. Yeah. So 79.5. 8 by 26, right? Yep. Everything in here goes with it. Washer and dryer, refrigerator, beautiful bathroom, sofa, chairs, this little fireplace. It's all been finished out. Give them your address. I mean, your email, so, phone So, email number. address is aitinyhomes.com. Stands for Artistic Innovations. And my phone number, my cell number is 702-540-6214. Obviously, I don't give that number out very often. Yeah, well, I hope somebody, if you're looking for a tiny home and you want to get a hold of Scott, he does a great job, and um, it's it's cool to be able to, hopefully, somebody who's looking for a house, mm -hmm. this is a quality home. Yep. This one's it. ready. We got another one that's, uh, everything's done except for the cabinet, stairs, you know, a little bit of interior yeah. work. So we got another one that's almost ready as well. Good deal. Same model. Two feet shorter. Two feet shorter. This is 26. Yep. And uh, 24. I think three thousand dollars lower too. Okay. So all right. There you go, everybody. Thank you for watching, tuning in. Of course, stay tuned to all our other videos. We got subscribe, thumbs up, like, all that stuff. And uh, Joseph and I are heading home tomorrow, and we're going back to Tennessee. And we got a ton to do. I, I'm looking forward to being home and uh, taking on what we've got going on there. So thanks again, Randy. All right, buddy. See you guys. Take care. Bye.